Hi guys and welcome back to another Simple Rockets 2 video. And this is an exciting one today and I want to give an, a special shout out to Kel, I, I, Kel Aerospace because it's because of his creation that I'm able to make this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So yes, I found Kel's craft online, which allows you to launch and put something in orbit and land back at the launch pad with his rocket. And it literally spot on lands in the launch pad. I mean, look at the code for this stuff. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So yeah, I'm... Um, very excited so i'll try to fit it to my craft i've had some issues trying to get it to work with this but we're going to give it a go and then once we see that this fails we're just going to give his a fly and i'll show you exactly what it's all about so you'll find the link for so yeah you'll find the link for his craft in the description along with a link to his channel where you can go and subscribe to him because he does make some awesome stuff absolutely awesome right so as you can see here, we're just on the launch pad. It doesn't start automatically, which is a good thing because, you know, I can fast forward to daytime time so it can actually say something. So, full throttle, you literally just press the Z button and there we go. It's going to start going itself. Here. And it gives you prompts when you need to change craft and everything like that. It is pretty intuitive and amazing, this, this whole code. So you can see there it was waiting until thrust to weight ratio was above one and then it's starting our gravity turn it's waiting for the threshold so it can start the turn it is very smart this code very very smart so there we go and our target altitude is 80 thousand um 80 kilometers up so it's going to push up until it hits that 80 kilometer mark and then it's going to begin our boost back burn which will then in turn begin the landing so if you do like these sort of videos then do hit the subscribe button and leave a like thank you very kindly we do a lot of um simulation games i would call it on this channel so if you're new do hit that subscribe button okay so I mean this code is absolutely amazing i'm 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 amazed by what he's done here he mu it must have took him a l very long time and it, you can tell it's just amazing i don't think it'll work with my craft but his craft it's flawless and i'll show you that after this so it's absolutely amazing so i thought with the launch that spacex just did where it was very successful getting some more um Skylink, Starlink, air satellites into orbit. There's another 60, I do believe, gone straight into orbit, and that uh, is incredible. A great feat by them, and reused the booster. I think it was for the third or fourth time they reused the booster, and the second time they reused the fairing. Amazing stuff SpaceX is doing at the minute. So, yeah, there it is. It's hit the target altitude, so it's turning off. It's then going to stage. Now, you've got to switch back to the booster and then unpause. Now, at this point, the fairing should separate, but because my craft is very glitchy when you separate the fairing with all them satellites in there, it is not a good idea, so I took that part out. It took us a while to figure out where the code was to take it out, but we got there eventually. So, yeah, it's going to start our boost back burn to go back to the launch site. So it's doing all these calculations to figure out how far it needs to go and everything. So once it needs a smaller thrust amount, it's going to cut all the rest of the engines and leave the centre one running, as you'll see in just a moment. There we go, it's only leaving that centre one. And these grid fins at the top, these actually work. These glide the booster over, over the launch pad to land it. Now like i'm saying it's probably not going to work with my booster with my craft because i haven't really done any edit in the code i've just kind of copied what he did into my craft and hoped for the best basically 
So hopefully it might go okay. Right, so now we have to switch back to the main craft. And uh, handily, handily, thankfully it pauses the game. So here we go. Like I'm saying, it, it would separate the fairing at this point. But obviously my craft is a bit strange when it comes to that. If I open the fairing now, everything would just start shaking and vibrating. It's, it's down below us off. So yeah, I took that part out. <laughs> but as you can see, it tries to keep a nice um, steady push as well. It doesn't go to the extreme. It is just perfectly done the whole code system. Now if this doesn't work, I'm gonna, in a later video, I'm gonna put a payload in his rocket and use that as a reusable rocket video which would be pretty cool if if I, if I can't get this to work yeah exciting times he is making some exciting stuff so again do check out his channel down below in the description and his craft files on the website he does some amazing stuff with this game absolutely amazing so go give him a sub he deserves it <laughs> and i think he's doing it all on mobile as well don't correct us on that but um yeah i think he might be doing it all on mobile which is in and in of itself remarkable <laughs> so if you're watching this video kel then thank you very much for this awesome craft <laughs> I'm sure everyone's appreciating it, the awesomeness. Right, so there we go. We're going to switch back to the booster for landing, hopefully. Hopefully you're landing. We'll, we'll sharp see. Here we go. So you can see these grid fins working its way to gliding down this massive booster here. Hopefully it's going to work. I think last time I tested this it overcompensated a bit. And try to land over here somewhere. Now, oh, I think I might be doing it again. Yeah. So obviously this craft is not designed to be working with this cord. But let's see if it works nonetheless. No, it's going to be bringing it down in the wrong in the wrong spot, I think, unless it's going to right itself here. It might right itself. If it does, this is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's if I don't run out of fuel. <laughs> I only have 8% fuel left as well, so that is also going to be a problem so if we go into the booster camera here we can see what it's going on it is actually getting itself over the launch pad and that is absolutely insane I can't believe this is actually working Kel you are a genius <laughs> you should go and work for SpaceX like, look at this, this is actually working. We'll go down here as if it's a SpaceX launch. Look at this. Oh, my view went a bit funny. Oh, landing legs. Landing legs. <laughs> no, I didn't deploy the landing legs. Oh, but other than that, that was perfect. Okay, well... We'll forget the fact that I didn't deploy the landing legs. That was probably my issue. That was something I just hadn't set up properly. I think I needed to make the action group. Yeah, I don't think I set the landing legs to the right action group. So that's probably the problem. Whoa! I forgot. I didn't. I haven't tested what happens next. So I think I just tried it. Just, just exploded all the satellites. 
anyway, let's go back. We'll see if we've set the landing legs up correctly. Yeah, it's set a landing gear. I've obviously done something wrong there, but we'll forget about that. We're going to save this because it's actually working now. That is amazing. But we'll open his actual craft here. So you can see this working. Even his craft looks way better than mine. Come on. That is amazing. Right, so we'll make it daytime again, so it's easier to witness. There we go, and then let's have a look at his remarkable work here. Absolutely superb. Ah, I should have put some cameras on, but never mind. I mean, he's even got his little Kettle Aerospace logo there. That's awesome. There's nothing in this fairing. It's literally just a fuel tank just to simulate weight but it's like a missile look at it the style of it is like a ballistic missile it's crazy so you start this turn already this has got a lot more power in its engines as well this is they're actually named um, they are he's actually renamed the engines as well which is cool Nice little touch personalization there. So yeah, this thing is absolutely insane. I think everyone that wants to do SpaceX style missions definitely has to download this and then, you know, use use the code in it. Like I did, because that actually worked and I'm surprised it worked. I'm really surprised it worked. Granted we had a couple of failures, but that's nothing that can't be fixed. So, yeah, very exciting. Here we go, slowly getting up there. Look at it, it is just a ballistic missile. I mean, the fins... The fins make it look like a missile. It's pretty cool. So his actually stops right perfectly, pretty much. Whereas mine went over to about 85 kilometers. So it's a bit, um, it's a lot more optimized than mine. <laughs> I'm using an old rocket as well, so. Look at it going off there. You can see how much that turn throws us off course with the um, monopropellant. And then it gets itself back on course. Look at it coming back over, over the craft. So that is crazy. How much little things affect spacecraft. <coughs> and there we go. Already his has finished its boost back burn. And he only has 6% air fuel left in this first stage as well. Five, look. Here we go, just circularizing that orbit, getting this lump of fuel into its orbit. Even the design of this, this craft looks so good. get rid of that information we don't need that nearly there I'm guessing this is just the first first burn of two I believe for the circularization I'm not a hundred percent sure if I have a look at the map here I think it does this burn to get 
the apple apps a bit further away and then once that's la the booster's landed we continue the circularization burn I think that's what happens I'm sure obviously that boost has fallen back in the atmosphere as we speak there we go yeah it is it is getting it away far, far enough that once we come back to it it is going to be at the right point to do the burn I do believe There we go, switch back to the booster. Here we are. And then grid fins working again absolutely amazing you see how on target it is already compared to mine was it's pretty much on target already I think the size of this fuel tank as well is acting quite a bit different to mine mine is very skinny so there isn't as much drag acting on it whereas this has a lot more drag so it's a lot easier to maneuver in the atmosphere to get it to come down on this point and look at that almost all over it already completely over it 4% fuel now I'd love to see him do this with like a Falcon Heavy where he brings down the two boosters that would be amazing absolutely amazing Here we go. Look at that. Smack bang right in the middle. Absolutely amazing achievement. Then we'll go back to the main. Unpause. Here's the final burn. last about 60 seconds it does say we'll watch it from the map view to see how it does this my shrapnel <laughs> from previous missions And I'm guessing he set it to be 150 kilometers height, or whether that's just a coincidence of how high it goes. And there we go. Perfect orbit, pretty much. Second stage can be deorbited and parachuted manually. It actually has parachutes as well. Can you believe it? Right, so guys, so that'll be it for today. And thank you very much for joining. Do check out Kel Aerospace down below in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.